Hey guys, what's going on? It's King Crystal here, and today I am back with episode 2 of PC Build Battles. After asking the Discord server what budget they wanted, they said they wanted to see a build a little bit more pricey, so that there would be more room for variations within the two builds. Needless to say, they decided that the $1200 budget would be perfect for today's episode. Starting out today's show, we have Fred Davis. He owns a brand new tech themed YouTube channel, and I want to give a huge thanks for him for contacting me. Remember, his part to this episode is linked down below, as well as his channel in general. This should be especially interesting because Fred currently works repairing computers and other devices in real life, so without further ado, let the duel begin. For the processor, I chose the brand new Ryzen 5 2600. This is the cheapest of all the new Ryzen 2 processors out at just $189.99, but definitely still packs a punch. The CPU has 6 cores and 12 threads, which is plenty enough and will definitely benefit you in workloads like rendering, as well as if you want to stream on this computer. The base clock is 3.4GHz with a boost of 3.9GHz, and from what I've seen online, most people are able to get a stable 4.2GHz overclock on all cores. Also, this processor is one of the first to be made on the 12 nanometer process over the 14 nanometer process, so there are some architectural improvements over 1st gen. The biggest I see between Ryzen 2nd gen and 1st gen is software optimization in games. I was sincerely impressed with the Ryzen 2 CPUs being able to almost match Intel's current lineup, even in games that rely more on single core performance, so that is definitely a large improvement and a thumbs up for me. Finally, it does come with the Wraith Stealth cooler, but I decided to add an aftermarket cooler to the build. Speaking of an aftermarket cooler, I chose the Cooler Master Master Liquid ML240L. With AM4 support right out of the box, as well as having a price tag of under 60 bucks, it really is the best cooler I have seen for the money. It features a 240mm radiator, as implied with the name, and comes with two RGB fans as well as an RGB pump head. Overall, this cooler should perform more than sufficient on the CPU's low TDP of 65 watts, and should be able to handle those spicy high voltage overclocks over 4 GHz. For the motherboard, I chose the ASRock AB350M Pro 4. Now hear me out, I know I'm going to get questions about this in the comments. Chris, what is this incompatibility issue I see? Essentially, the B350 chipset supports Ryzen 2, but all the boards came out before Ryzen 2 actually launched. This causes the boards to not come with the most updated BIOS necessary to run the Ryzen 2 CPUs. This might be a little annoying, but that is just about it since AMD will send out a dummy Ryzen first generation CPU for you to use to update your BIOS if you run into this issue. With that out of the way, it is a great board overall. I see myself constantly recommending this board to others, and it is quite true that it has all the features that the average person will need. I chose a 16GB kit of T4 Stelta for the RAM. Now looking at this RAM, it runs at 3000MHz, which should benefit Ryzen due to the infinity fabric the chip uses. Also, if you were wondering, the timings are 16, 16, 16, 18, and the kit uses 1.35 volts. Now I know I'm going to get questions again. Chris, why did you go with RGB RAM? I went with RGB RAM because I can, and I went with RGB RAM just to flex on my boy Fred of course. Needless to say, it only costs $170, and it should be able to put on quite the show paired with the RGB cooler as well. As for storage, this time I decided to go with two drives. The first is a SATA SSD by Toshiba, a $60 240GB drive. I always suggest fitting an SSD into your budget if possible, even if it isn't going to store every game you own. Simply installing your OS on this drive and a few commonly used applications can greatly improve your experience. I also added a $40 1TB Western Digital Blue hard drive for mass storage. This way, if you want to install large apps and games that won't fit on your SSD, you still can do so. The graphics card was the component that I decided to spend most of the budget on. I chose the $550 Zotac GTX 1080 mini card. First things first, a 1080 is one of the best cards currently out. It can play just about any game at 1440p over 60fps, and there are quite a number of games it can handle at 4K. The 1080 is also the mini edition, meaning we'll have no problems fitting into the case and fits the scheme since all the other parts are micro ATX form factor. Also, although this is subject to my opinion, in my opinion, I would say that the card looks pretty nice sporting a fairly minimalistic color scheme and a monotone backplate. For the case, I chose the Cooler Master Masterbox Q300L. This is a micro ATX case costing about $37, integrating what would be the best of both worlds when it comes to looks and price. It has fully mesh all the way around, so airflow should be great, and it will easily support the rest of the components in this build. It also has a nice large side panel window, which includes what Cooler Master refers to be a modular front I.O. panel. Finally, I chose the Seasonic M12ii 620W power supply for the build. It cost $60, and although I normally recommend the 520W version, I decided to go with a little bit more power for that high-end GTX 1080. It has a fully modular approach, so you only have to plug in the cables you need, and the power supply is 80 plus bronze certified. Also, it is able to stay quite quiet, even under load, and doesn't have an overall large footprint. 
So that was my build. I want to remind everyone to go check out Fred's episode and his channel in general. The link for that will be in the description below. Also down in the description will be the link to my Discord server. If you want to get active in the community, I strongly suggest getting a Discord account and joining. Without further ado, I hope everyone learned a thing or two. Remember to comment, like, and even consider subscribing. This is King Christo signing off, and peace out.